LT1965 Low Noise LDO Linear Regulator by Linear Technologies. Welcome to the training module on Linear Technologies LT1965 Low Noise LDO Linear Regulator. This training module introduces the LT1965 Low Noise Low Dropout Linear Regulator and its key features and benefits. In an increase in trend, telecommunications, networking, and audio and instrumentation requires low noise power supplies. In particular, there is interest in low dropout linear regulators or LDOs. Dropout voltage is defined as the minimum input to output voltage difference where the output voltage of the LDO regulators remains regulated. That is, the LDO regulates the output voltage until its input and output approach each other at the dropout voltage. Ideally, the dropout voltage should be as low as possible to minimize power dissipation and maximize efficiency. As shown in the figure, the working region for LDO is a regulation region where it can provide a steady output voltage in a wide range of load current. LDO architecture can be as basic and simple as this figure. The main components are a power semiconductor and a differential amplifier or error amplifier. The first input of the differential amplifier monitors a percentage of the output as determined by the resistor ratio of R1 and R2. The second input to the differential amplifier is from a stable voltage reference. Therefore, the output voltage V out will be set to stable level according to R1, R2, and V reference. When there is a change at V out, it will cause the, the divide feedback voltage in red circle through R1 and R2 to force the error amplifier to adjust the current flow through the series pass element. The V out will be gradually regulated to the default stable level. The LT1965 is a 1.1 amp adjustable and fixed output voltage PNP based LDO regulator. It offers a high power density, low noise, wide input and output voltage, good PSRR, low dropout, and has the bulletproof arsenal of protection features. The LT1965 has low dropout voltage of only 300 millivolts at full load with wide VIN capability of 1.8 to 20 volt and low adjustable output from 1.2 to 19.5 volts. The ultra low output noise of only 40 microvolts RMS reduces noise in instrumentation, RF, DSP and logic supply systems and is also beneficial for post regulating switch and power supplies. The LT1965's most important market differentiators are its wide input voltage range from 1.8 to 20 volts and an adjustable output from 1.2 to 19.5 volts. It also has a set of internal protection circuitry including reverse battery protection, reverse current protection, current limiting with foldback, and thermal limiting. As you can see from this slide, the LT1965 has a wide input voltage range, a wide output voltage range, low noise, and low dropout. Output tolerance is tightly regulated to within plus or minus 3% over line, load, and temperature. The device is low quasin current of 500 microamps at operation and less than 1 microamp at shutdown makes it an excellent choice for applications requiring high output drive capability with low current consumption. The LT1965 regulator optimizes stability and transient response with a low ESR ceramic output capacitor as small as 10 microfarads. These tiny external capacitors can be used without any necessary series resistance as is common with many other regulators. Internal protection circuitry includes reverse battery, reverse current, reverse output, current limiting with foldback, and thermal limiting. For applications requiring large input to output differentials, 
the LT-1965 offers a very compact and thermally effective solution. The IC features a wide breadth of packaging options ranging from modern high power densities, small footprint, thermally efficient DFN and MSOP packages to more traditional D2 pack and TO220 power packaging. Operating junction temperature ranges is minus 40 to plus 125 degrees C. As shown in the left chart, the device is capable of supplying up to 1.1 amps at a typical dropout voltage of 310 millivolts. The LT1965's low dropout voltage allows for higher efficiency operation as the differential between input and output may be minimized and thus reducing power dissipation. Battery life in portable products may be increased as the input voltage may be run down closer to the output voltage and still maintain V-out regulation. The right chart illustrates the relationship between quasar current and temperature. At plus 25 degrees C, the operating quasar current is around 500 microamps for the adjustable version and 600 microamps for the fixed version. The low operating quasar current drops to less than 1 microamp at shutdown. These regulators have very low output noise, which makes them ideal for sensitive RF and DSB applications. In most systems, the range of 10 to 100 kilohertz is the information signal processing area of concern. Normally, linear regulators produce a very low noise energy outside this region. The LT1965 regulators are designed to provide low output voltage noise over this bandwidth while operating at full load. Output voltage noise is approximately 80 nanovolt per hertz over the frequency bandwidth for the adjustable LT1965. For higher output voltages, the output voltage noise goes up accordingly. Here is a sample application circuit. As you can see, the LT1965 is easily configured as a general purpose high input voltage to low output adjustable regulator. It requires only four small external components. The ratio of two external resistors R1 and R2 sets the output voltage. The device servos the output to maintain the ADJ pin voltage of 1.2 volt reference to ground. The bias current of 1.3 microamps at 25 degrees C flows through R2 and into the adjustable pin. Use the equation as shown in the page to calculate the output voltage. Here is another example to show how two or more devices can be hooked up in parallel to provide higher output current with the aid of an operational amplifier and some external passive components. The LT1965 may be thought of as a low current version of the LT1963A and a higher current version of the LT1763, which are all part of Linear Technologies PNP LDO regulator family. The closest LDO in the LT portfolio current-wise is the LT3080, which is also rated up to 1.1 amps. The table lists the differences between the LT 1965 and the LT3080. The first difference is the architecture. LT1965 uses a PNP transistor, whilst the LT3080 uses an NPN transistor. Other differences include dropout voltage, protection features, and output accuracy. In addition, the LT1965 requires an external op-amp while the LT3080 is directly paralleled. LT1965 has a voltage reference while the LT3080 has a current reference. These LDOs are targeted at different end applications. The LT3080 is more designed for surface mount systems, direct parallel, and ease of use, whereas the LT1965 is more for general purpose conversion under potentially harsher conditions.